Hello there. I'm glad you could come and visit me today. I am Mother Goose. Welcome to my home. Have you heard about my book of nursery rhymes? Well, this is it. An entire book filled with all kinds of rhymes about fanciful places and curious characters. There's even a little magic thrown in, too. Do you know what magic is? Magic is that special something that makes unbelievable things seem real. Like what, you ask? Well, let's see. Like a cow jumping over the moon. Or a house made of a pumpkin shell. That sounds pretty silly, doesn't it? But anything can happen in my magic book. Did you hear that? Oh, there it goes again. I think it's coming from my nursery rhyme book. I'll just bet that little boy Blue has fallen asleep again. Every time he does that, his sheep run all over the place. Do you want to come with me and see what's going on? All right then, let's go. Follow me. Little boy Blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. Where is the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep where to find them leave them alone and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them ba ba black sheep have you any wool yes sir yes sir three bags full One for my master and one for my dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Well, I guess we were right. The sheep were running all over the place. Well, at least they'd never go very far. <laughs> as long as we're here, how would you like to meet the rest of the animals on the farm? I thought you would. Listen carefully and see if you can guess which barnyard friend wakes us up in the morning. That's right. The cock crows in the morning to wake everyone up. Cocks crow in the morn to tell us to rise. to bed and early to rise is the way to be healthy and wealthy and wise. A cat came fiddling out of a barn with a pair of bagpipes under her arm. She could sing nothing but fiddle dee dee. The mouse has married the bumblebee. This is a lovely farm. You know, there are two other animals that live nearby. And they are very anxious to meet you. Yes, yes, we're coming. Once I saw a little bird go hop, hop, hop. And I said, little bird, won't you stop, stop, stop. I was going 
point to the window to say, How do you do? But he shook his little tail, and away he flew. Goodbye for now. We'll come back to visit again soon. Oh, goodness, that was fun. But if we don't hurry, we won't get to meet all of the characters in my book. Oh, we do have quite a way to go. We'd better ask one of our animal friends to take us the rest of the way. He's got four legs and can move much faster than you or I. Can you guess who he might be? That's right! It's a horse. Let's listen to some wonderful songs about horses and traveling while we take a magical journey. Away we go! Try, 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 try. This is the way the ladies ride. Try, 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 try. This is the way the gentlemen ride. Gallop a trot, gallop a trot. This is the way the gentlemen ride. Gallop a trot, gallop a trot. This is the way the farmers ride. Hobble tee hoy, hobble tee hoy. This is the way the farmers ride. Hobble tee hoy, hobble tee hoy. Try, 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 try. Gallop a trot, gallop a trot. Hobble tee hoy, hobble tee hoy. Try, 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 try. Gallop a trot. Ride a cock horse to Benbury Cross to see a fine lady upon a white horse. Rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. She shall have music wherever she goes. This little piggy went to market This little piggy stayed home This little piggy had roast beef This little piggy had none And this little piggy cried wee 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 Look at all of those people. We've come right to the edge of town. It seems that the people gathered here are either buying something or selling something. This is what we call a market. I love to visit the market. There are so many interesting people and things to see. Let's stop and we can all enjoy the market together. Do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Oh, do you know the Muffin Man who lives in Drury Lane? Panicky, 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 panicky,
days mm. old. Some like it hot, some like it cold. Some like it in the pot nine days old. First your penny. Maker and all of them gone to sea. Oh no! The butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker may have gone to sea. Oh, but that doesn't mean that they're the only ones who might be getting wet. Listen, do you hear what I hear? I hear a thunderstorm coming. We don't have to be afraid. I remembered to bring my umbrella. It will keep us warm and dry, even in the wettest storm. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He went to bed with a cold in his head. I love the part when the sun dries up all the rain, don't you? Where shall we go now? I have an idea. Let's go straight to the middle of town. London town. Giddy up! Let's go! See so sacred down, which is the way to London town. One foot up and the other foot down. That is the way to London town. What's this? Peter Piper, are you having trouble again? Yes, ma'am. I, I just can't seem to get this rhyme right. Well, go ahead. Let's see how you're doing. Peter Piper, uh, that's me. Uh, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pumpkins? You're right. Well, what I mean is, something is wrong. Try it again. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled parsnips? Hmm, that's not it. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peaches? No, no, something is still wrong. Try it again, but this time try picking a... Try picking... Oh, now, what is it you're supposed to pick? Oh, I know. Peppers. Try peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A, a peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? 
Do it faster. That's the way. <gasps> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Yay! He's all set now. I knew he could do it. Let's continue on our journey. Look! We made it! This is London Town. Do you see this big, beautiful house? This is the royal castle where the king and queen live. Mmm! I smell something yummy. Maybe the queen is baking tarts. Let's go inside and see what everyone is up to. The queen of hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. That knave of hearts, he stole the tarts and took them clean away. The king of hearts called for the tarts and beat the knave full sore. The knave of hearts fought back the tarts and vowed he'd steal no more. Pussycat, Pussycat, where have you been? I've been to London to visit the Queen. Pussycat, Pussycat, what did you there? I frightened a little mouse under her chair. Sing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. When the pie was open, the birds began to sing. Wasn't that a dainty dish to set before the king? The king was in his counting house, counting out his money. The queen was in the parlor, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes. There came a little black bird and snapped off her nose. Oh, my goodness! That part about the maid's nose gives me shivers every time I hear it. Things can get pretty crazy in my nursery rhyme book, can't they? Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Hector Protector was all dressed in green. Hector Protector was sent to the queen. The queen didn't like him. No more did the king. So, so Hector, Hector Protector was sent back again. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. My stars! That was quite a fall Humpty Dumpty took. Look! Our visit has taken us to the other side of London town. If we continue down this road, we'll come to a pretty little neighborhood where some of my best friends live. You'll meet some that are very unusual. Some are even silly, but they are all very nice. Come along with me. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and whipped them all soundly and sent them to bed. Jack Sprat could eat no fat. His wife could eat no lean. And so between them both, you see, they licked the platter clean. To fetch her poor dog a bone But when she got there The cupboard was bare And so the poor dog had none 
Isn't this a lovely neighborhood? Does it seem to you that someone is missing? <laughs> That's right. We haven't met the children yet. The children in this enchanted neighborhood are my favorite friends. Let's visit some of them now. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. It followed her to school one day, school one day, school one day. It followed her to school one day, which was against the rule. It made the children laugh and play, laugh and play, laugh and play. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating his Christmas pie. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, "What a good boy am I!" Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey. Along came. A spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Little Tommy Tucker sings for his supper. What shall we give him? White bread and butter. Those kids are really something. I guess they're just like children everywhere. Sometimes sweet, and sometimes <laughs> they can get into a lot of trouble. Now you put that back. You'll have to wait until later if you want a piece of pie. This neighborhood certainly has its share of mischievous children. Yes, indeed. Let's see what the rest of them are up to. Come along. Elsie Molly has grown so fine She won't get up to feed the swine But lies in bed till eight or nine Lazy Elsie Molly Georgie Porgy Pudding and Pie Kissed the girls and made them cry When the boys came out to play Georgie Porgy ran away There was a little girl When she was good, she was very, very good. But when she was bad, she was horrid. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jumped over the candlestick. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jumped over the candlestick. Woo, girl, woo! Well, we've almost come to the end of my nursery rhyme book. Woo! <laughs> We're right back where we started, aren't we? Oh, it's good to be home. Just thinking about all the people we've met and the places we've seen makes me very, very tired. I think I'll listen to the last group of songs in my own comfy little chair. When I'm feeling sleepy, or if it's time to go to bed, I like to listen to dreamy songs. And I see the man in the moon is here already. Let's all sit down and take a deep breath and listen. Even my dreams are magical.
diddle diddle dumpling, my son John went to bed with his trousers on. One shoe off and one shoe on. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John. through the town, upstairs, downstairs, in his nightgown, rapping at the window, crying through the lock, are the children all in bed, now it's eight o'clock. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the Sport and the dish ran away with a spoon. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle Bye-bye for now. Come and visit again soon. <laughs> <laughs>